Sega. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue, Gallia to Arms. March, 1935, outside the Gallian border town of Brühl. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa! Already? Hey there, guys! You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Freeze! Put your hands in the air. Slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um... Uh, my name's Welkin. And you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Thanks, fish.
Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait... Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Okay, here's the plan. Let's get started. Just I see three of them. That's three too many. Stick. Listen a second. They're...
Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. 
Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust of persecution and hate. And of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Chapter 1, In Defense of Bruel. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> How's the packing? Almost done. I only need to take... Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit... Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22... And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you do... Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. <laughs> I should know. I... Hello there. Um, it... Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For bef Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before- I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you- Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. 
What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just... He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well I'm sure you will. Be good. Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the welky. That's a lovely portrait. Yep, it was taken before. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him, there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. Wait a minute, but I thought the general was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The general was kind enough to take me in as his... Yeah, we're not related by blood, but... Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with... T yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm hmm So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but... It's just that I... I want to give back in my own way. My own way, you know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Ah! Huh. What was that? That sound. Melchia, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squ Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. Explain the mission. Okay, let's begin.
Our target is the Imperial. Breaking the chain of command should at least. All right, I. Got a second? Here we go. Here we go.
Sounds like a tank. Not good. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's and try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from the... Ready to go. Go. Phew. Looks like we shook them. If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin.
Chapter 2, Escape from Brule.